A couple of weeks ago on my way to work, I had a bit of a crash and hit my head pretty hard off the ground. So I've had to buy myself a nice new bike helmet. I'm still kind of recovering from the concussion from the old one. So I've bought myself this uh, Pop Ventral Air Mips here in a size large, 56 to 61. And that's to replace my old S-Works Prevail 2, which took a bit of damage in that crash. So looking at here, we've got this um, nice kind of bit of Scandi minimalist packaging here, a nice white box with not much print on it. And if I just pop that open, slide this outer box, you can see we've got the uh, the trusty ghost foam here. I'm just getting rid of that one of it. And then inside here, slide that off. We've got the helmet itself. And inside here, we've got a wee bonus. Um, Helmet bag, which is pretty nice. I've never had a helmet bag before. Never really felt the need for one, but I've got one now. That's pretty handy, I suppose. Um, and here we've got the helmet itself with all its um, various tags hanging from it. It's a pretty suave looking helmet. Um, first impressions are pretty good. Looks pretty, um, pretty fancy, but um, yeah, I'll have a wee, uh, have a wee try on of it and um, see how it looks. So that's it all on my head now. Um, it's quite a cool looking helmet. I really like it. It was one of the main kind of things that um, attracted me to these POC helmets. They're quite kind of um, quite uniquely styled. They don't really look like anything else. Um, obviously the like EF Education have been using POC helmets for the last few years and I thought they were pretty cool. So that was a big one of my um, sort of motivating buying decisions. Fit feels really, really nice. It's really nice and kind of like cosy and kind of wrapped around my head. Um, like I said before, I had the S-Works Prevail 2, which felt a little bit like it was sort of perched on top of my head rather than kind of like fitting around it. So this is pretty nice. Um, in terms of notes on the fit, it is quite a kind of like long, narrow fit, which usually tends to work well with my head. Um, I've always had Giro or Specialized helmets, literally since I started mountain biking about a thousand years ago. <laughs> Yeah, I've always been stuck in the Giro and Specialized, so to go with Pop was a bit of a kind of step into the unknown, but I'd heard a few people kind of saying in their notes that they were kind of quite a long, narrow fit, so that was pretty good. They do also offer what they call the WF, or wide fit versions, so if you've got a head that kind of works more with your sort of like cask helmets, that sort of thing, those might work a little bit better for you. But yeah, I like it so far, it's sort of, um, like I say, nice and um, snug fit on my head. Um, on the back, we've got the standard little kind of retention dial here, and we've got this nice black kind of exhaust port detail, which I guess lets the lets the airflow through quite nicely. Um, so generally, um, quite a good kind of first impression of it. Um, really, really pretty impressed. I like the pretty minimalist styling as well. Um, nice kind of plain white with just black pock logos and the uh, black um, foam inside as well. That looked pretty good. I'd actually really wanted the, there was a kind of yellow version, which I think they called a, a venturing yellow or something like that, which I thought looked pretty cool, but um, nowhere had it in stock. So I um, went for the white one because it's still nice and visible, but it's pretty neutral and kind of um, works with anything as well. So that's pretty cool. Quite, quite liking the, the general style and the general fit of it on my head so far. Taking a closer look at the inside of the helmet, we've got the... Um, Black liner pads here. I don't know if you can see the sticker there. This is the new um, MIPS Integra system. So obviously MIPS has been pretty um, common on reasonably kind of high-end helmets for quite a while, but this is the MIPS Integra, which I believe is an evolution of the old POC spin system, which was their own kind of version of MIPS, which is pretty cool, I suppose. Um, also on the back here, you've got the standard kind of um, standard little dial adjuster here. Now this is the only thing about this helmet I'm not really a big fan of. It seems to work quite well when tightening up, but when you um, loosen it off, it just sort of feels a bit sort of cheap and rubbishy. So um, it's premium helmet, I'd sort of expect it to feel a wee bit better than that. Maybe that's just me being picky, but um, again, compared to like the Specialized and Giro helmets that I've had in the past, it just doesn't feel quite as nice. But still, it works, it's functional, so. Um, it kind of does what I need it to do. Now coming down to the unflattering angle to have a look at the buckles and straps and stuff, you can see the straps have got this quite nice adjustment system where the straps can come down round your ears, round this buckle and then round under your chin. And it's the same at this side as well, you've got the same kind of system here where the, this can be adjusted to kind of let this fit round your ears better. Now I haven't really had to make any adjustments to this right out of the box, it's generally been pretty good. 
Um, attachment is just by a little clicky buckle here. This is not any kind of like fancy magnet or any kind of clever system. Just one of the classic little buckles. And then that just kind of straps in here. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little kind of elastic um, sleeve there that holds the strap in and stops it from flopping around in the wind. Now, the only thing I don't really like about this is weirdly underneath this section of your chin, you end up with four layers of strap over each other. Because again, what you've got is you've got each of these two straps here end up doubled up through here. Then you end up with that doubled back through the mechanism. So you end up with quite a lot of strap there and it's a little bit fiddly to get a hold of. But um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not um, certainly not uncomfortable. The wee sleeve feels quite nice against your chin. It's quite a kind of soft material, so that's pretty good. Um, and generally speaking, the whole kind of um, feeling of the way it attaches to your head is actually really nice. Um, again, compared to my old S-Works helmet, uh, the S-Works helmet just attached the straps um, at two points on the kind of bottom of the shell, whereas the straps on this tend to kind of go up into the shell of the helmet itself. And again, that just kind of contributes a little bit more to um, making the whole thing feel a little bit more kind of secure on your head. Are you even a cyclist if you haven't fretted over things you buy to the very last gram? Well, here we go. I'm going to chuck it on the scales here and see how it comes out. So that's settled down at 282 grams, which is pretty good. That's um, the official size marked on the box was 280 grams. So 282 is pretty acceptable. The one thing I would say is that it does sort of like noticeably feel a little bit heavier than my old Prevail. So if we swap them over on the scales here, put the Prevail on. That's coming in at 247 grams. So it is kind of like quite noticeably lighter um, compared to the 281, 282 grams of the POC. The POC definitely like feels a lot more comfortable to my mind. Um, so I guess there is uh, there's benefit in those extra couple of grams there. All right, so that's my wee kind of first look at the helmet. Um, like I say, generally pretty impressed. Has a kind of nice like, premium feel. Pretty kind of unique, cool styling, which I quite like. Um, good fit, that's the kind of important thing. Um, I guess the next thing I need to do is actually just get out and um, give it a good try. Um, really looking forward to trying out all this ventilation. Um, it's currently just coming into November in Scotland just now though, so how much extra cooling I think I'm going to need is maybe um, is arguable, but uh, it's nice to have the option there. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'm just currently uh, recovering from that concussion at the moment, so... Um, I'm nearly there. I'm feeling like I'm kind of like nearly ready, but um, yeah, just giving it time, going pretty easy with it. And then hopefully I'll get to go out and take it for plenty of rides. And um, yeah, it feels like it's going to be a good one and hopefully it'll be uh, out with me on lots of, uh, lots of rides in future videos.